interval and we've got two gin and tonics. Good morning. It's Monday morning and here's Sandra cleaning away. Good morning everyone. Sandra, I'm off to the Langham Hotel today. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, I'm off. I'm off to the Langham with my producer, so I've just got out the shower um, because they're opening all the hotels and we can eat in. Yes, that's we'll. right. I mean, I won't be eating in the Langham. Who can afford to eat in the Langham? But if we want to, all the restaurants downstairs, we can go inside. Yes, we can now. Although, I'll be honest with you, I'm still a little bit wary Same here. because because of this new variant that's Same here. coming, I'm just a little bit scared. Do you know, uh, what I think is going to happen is London is going to be full of young people who, you know, they are healthier and they're taking more of a risk and they're going to be everywhere yeah. and our age group are going to be staying inside. I know, and although think? we've had our vaccinations and they say that we are quite safe, but I believe we've been told that the over 50s are going to have a booster towards Christmas time. Yeah, so. yeah. I know, and then that might waylay our fears. We'll also end up like pin cushions. We're going to have so many other chaps. <laughs> but hey, um, anyway, look at me, Sandra. I need to get dressed. All right, darling. Have you had a good weekend? Well, it's quiet. Yeah. But um, as I say, but now at least we can go and visit and stay inside. So and you can see your grandchildren. I can. That's um, what she has been waiting for, isn't looking it? Looking forward to seeing them all. So. Yeah. We need to get them on the vlog. I know. We need to get little George. Yeah. We'll then we'll have, to. yeah, we'll have little George and then big George. <laughs> on the... yeah. I'll see you later. All right. Bye, Bye now. Everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, Sandra. I am so late. I'm meeting Amy over at the Langham. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing um, a pre-record, which will go out on my show. Gosh, what a grey Monday this is. the Langham look at this doesn't it look fantastic and I'm meeting Amy here uh, because it is the first day that the Langham uh, has reopened Love it. And Wait you know, till the ice cream truck oh, is really? going around town in pink. <laughs> so um, I broadcast my show every single day from the studios over there at the BBC. And every single day I say, oh, the lights are out on the Langham. Every day since uh, we've gone into the, the past lockdown. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Um, this for us actually, for us at the BBC is a bit of a club, I mean that sounds very um, elitist but we actually go into the bar and drink when we have times to celebrate, which there haven't been very many recently and the bar obviously hasn't been open. But we are so excited and I'm waiting for Amy because we've been invited in today on the first day back uh, of the Langham and um, this is a huge, this sort of adds energy to this whole area of this hotel and this hotel has real connections with the BBC because the BBC used to come, we owned this building, the BBC, if anyone owns a building, the BBC, this was part of the World Service and many people who listen to my show remember actually working here so it's hugely important and we are so excited.
<clears throat> this is the side entrance. Turn to your left. Wow. So this suite has its own entrance from the street as well, which is wonderfully discreet. For, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is one suite, and this is called the, is it called the Sterling? That is the Sterling suite. The Sterling suite. Just look at this. How beautiful. It's just, I think the Langham is possibly one of the most beautiful hotels. Look at this. Just look. How beautiful is this? Oh my god. Oh is this so they're back everybody they're back and you need to get down here but this is going to be traveling today throughout London what what is the route it's taking Doris Do you uh, know? the exact route I can't give you in sequence anymore but we are definitely passing by the St Mary's Hospital um, I think I wanted to go to London Bridge but the colleague said not to do it um, <laughs> Charlotte where else are we going today we are going to, so, so St Mary's you mentioned, and then we're going off to a couple of media houses. We're going to see the guys down at Vogue House and DMG. Oh wow, yeah, uh, fantastic. Coming back to your and they're coming, come and back. they're coming back here at 3.30. So spread, okay, spread everyone news. at the BBC, yeah, spread the news. they're going to be here at 3.30. Our newsroom is there, so all you have to do is come down here. Thank you, bye. Bye. Doris, thank you. You're most welcome, Absolutely thank you brilliant. for visiting. You're blurred, actually. You're blurred. You've got a while to swallow those peanuts. Stop this is it. really blurred. I've just been over at the Langham. I know. I'm very oh jealous. Oh my of you. gosh. So did they? Um, did they know who you were? They know they who you I the am. the presidential suite. They showed us. Um, I, I've been showing it on here. They showed us the did you film suite it? with. Yeah, I filmed it. Oh, okay, I've cool. never been able to film inside the Langham before in their mm. room. So that was brilliant. But we must go over there for a cocktail. Oh my gosh, you know they've got the best bar in the world. It's voted the best bar in the top 20 bars in the world. Well, how do you the know that? Is it called the Artisan or something? You have to like speak that? up. Oh, um... Because um, so Malik can never been... turn you up full volume. Oh, can you not? Oh, does he try? Bless him. Um, I... Well, I don't want to overpower you, that's the thing. <laughs> it's your show. You'll never overpower... I'm like Peggy Mount. <laughs> I just <laughs> shout into this microphone. Go no, on. No, I, um, I went to that bar and you order the cocktails and they kind of... They arrive in these weird... I don't know, sort of vases and containers, and then you open them and all steam comes out, all the smoke. Wow. And then you've got your cocktail in there. Or they, they give you your cocktail in like a coconut or something. Yeah, yeah. So we Do you know go. where I want to go with you? Where? Is Trader Vic's. Is that really nice? Oh, no, no, it's so oh, no. funny. Trader Vic's is in Park Lane, underneath Hilton Park Lane. It's dark, everyone's in um, Caribbean mm. uh, sarongs, and you literally drink you have to out dress of. for the occasion. No! Danny Baker used to take us all there, and uh, it was, I found it through Danny Baker actually, but I love it, mm. and Big George, uh, he and I used to go there Christmas Eve, and you were drinking out of pictures that have Hawaiian girls <laughs> on the, it's just the best, you could be we in do, any actually. bar. We do, we haven't actually gone for a drink. 
ever, really, have we? No, we used to do my Christmas parties, my well, Christmas, Christmas dinners. No, but we always used to go to Trader Vic's before we went out uh, to dinner. Well, we've had some nice ones, though. We have. There won't be we any haven't. more. No. Well, why? Well, mm. who knows? We'll see. Who knows? I'd love to be getting a sandwich from Greg's. <laughs> So listen, we better crack on. Yeah, we because, better crack um, on. We've got a show and a half. I'm interviewing Amy McDonald, and I seriously thought Amy McDonald was the actress who used to be on Blankety Blank with Maybe the, the little voice like that. <laughs> um, but apparently, it's a singer. So there she's we are, singer. massive great generation. She's very, now. yeah, she's very clued up about. I'm show. down with the kids. She's down with the kids. Not. <laughs> Hello. Look, what was waiting for me when I got home yesterday? Matilda, be careful, because I'm not sure that plant, gosh, isn't poisonous. This is my cheap dress, remember, 29 pounds? Very excited. I absolutely love wearing it. These are my earrings I got in a vintage jewelers in Amsterdam a couple of years ago. They are wasps or bees that have been preserved in earrings live well they weren't live obviously but i mean real um anyway uh yes so all right matilda do you know i'm going to shut this door because the scaffolders are putting scaffolding up so as i said to you uh one of the perks of having a YouTube channel is you are sent loads of stuff or you're, they offer to send you loads of stuff and I usually the PRs will send an email saying can we send you this and I usually decline because I have everything I want really I have enough stuff but then there are brands that know I love them and that I will buy into them and this is not sponsored this is just very clever of Shantikai. Shantikai if um if you <laughs> This is from Shantikai. Um, Space NK, if you look at their website, asked, they interviewed me for their blog, and they asked what luxuries I used on my skin that, you know, I only could afford every so often and use every so often. And I named this, which is the Biolifting Shantikai Serum. Yes, Matilda. This is immorally expensive, but they sent me this and they sent it with this, which is brilliant. It's a derma roller, which is so heavy and cold. It's amazing. Used in conjunction with each other. It's wonderful. I loved this so much. When um, I ran out, I then went and bought another one. Don't even Google it, it is really expensive and it's ridiculous. But I kept thinking, well, I haven't had facials, so, you know, it's the price of a facial or two facials, probably, actually. So then um, they send me this, which was waiting for me when I got home last night with a card. So it says, Dear Jo, um, we are excited to share Shantikai's newest launch, the purifying and exfoliating Fo fo act photoactive solution. The cocktail of botanicals and active exfoliating aids and improves. Oh, careful, Matilda. Anyway, it says uh, to celebrate the launch, we invite you to try our 21 day challenge. Snap your skin on days 1, 11, and 21 to see the major difference in your skin. Right, okay, so I will probably do that if I have time. But what I am gonna do is show you exactly what they sent me. So this is their purifying range. And this plant purifies the air. Can anyone actually tell me what this plant is? Because I don't know, is it an orchid? Leave a comment below, whatever it is, Matilda's loving it. So, I have to tell you, last night I used one of these. You get a exfoliating so this is a foaming cleanser rice and geranium um do you remember nadine bagadoy said anything exfoliating be very wary of well what it exfoliates is the rice it's the rice that's um exfoliating not a chemical so um it's a natural exfoliation exfoliation and uh that is the cleanser you follow it by a lovely 
uh, toner, which is this one, which is purifying exfoliating um, solution. They call it a solution, but it is a toner. Um, and it's got lovely rose water, loads and loads of ingredients, but it's just, it prepares your skin for what you're then gonna follow it with. And what you follow it with is this, and I started to use it last night, which is a retinol. And as you know, I use a very low percentage retinol from time to time. And this is then perfect because it is a retinol that is very low percentage, but it also has botanicals, it has vitamin C. Um, you can look at the creaminess of this. Just look at the creaminess. Look at that. Oh, um, I think it's got green coffee in it as well. Either green coffee or I should put on my glasses. But oh my gosh, so I used this last night and retinol can often be very drying but I actually felt my skin feeling really moisturized when I woke up. So I may do the 111 21 day challenge. Follow me on Instagram, at Middle Age Minx, and see if my skin changes. Thank you, Chantikai. Now what I have to do is find somewhere to put this plant. Well, I've raced home and it's, what is it? Thursday night. I am wearing my Anya Hindmarch. I love this. She was on my show actually a couple of weeks ago, Anya Hindmarch, the designer. And she said that she'd based all of these colors and the whole texture of this on sweet wrappers. And um, yeah, when I get to where I'm going tonight, I'll get George to show you um, a proper picture. A picture? <gasps> I don't know what I'm saying. I am so tired. It's been a long day and I'm running out to meet George at the Sondheim Theatre in Leicester Square to see Les Miserables, my first trip to the theatre for months. And uh, there's Matilda on her blanket. She doesn't know she gets so cross when I go out because I never go out now at night. But anyway, um, I've done a rapid change and I think I'm going to walk there. I'm going to run there. I'm going to run there, but I'm going to take my brolly. Sorry, this camera. I'm going to take my brolly. I'll run there um, because it's going to... Oh, what a surprise. It's going to rain. I'll see you outside the theatre. I can see George. I'm late. I went to completely the wrong theatre. Hold on, there he is over there. George! 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 Everyone else is turning around apart from George. I'm wearing the socks you gave me. It's lovely, they look nice. I like the coat. So this well. is my Anya Heimarch. Very nice. You know, she said it was she made it on sweet wrappers. Yes. It's made yeah, out of sweet quality wrappers. Street. Quality street. Yeah, I love it. That's the material you were talking yeah. about. Right, I think the press entrance is. Well, right. I don't know if there is a I look. Where's Vanessa Feltz? That's all I want to know. Just follow the <laughs> follow the paths. We'll find her. Um, right. What's that? Stage door. Yeah, but you're oh. not going through the stage door. So, Somewhere. Oh right, so I'm not really sure where we're going. Let me just help. Do you have your mask? I have my mask. Do you have your mask? Yes, I have my mask. I'm also very close to people, very close to the camera as well. Hi there, hi there. Very well, thank you. Very excited. Very excited. So she's filming. I know. Could you hold this when I put my mask? Yes, can I put my mic? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh. Look at you, you're very ready. I hope we don't have to wear it through the whole thing. No, so don't. We're going to have yeah. a gin and tonic in the end And we're it? sitting next to each other. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought yeah. we had to socially distance. No, no. Brilliant.
interval and we've got two gin and tonics. Yes. How much are we loving the show? Oh, it's amazing. I've been I mean, in floods of tears, though. We both want to be on stage. We, we I both, know. We'll have to I should be the young cassette. Actually, I'll be Gavrov. I'll do all of it. He is Gavrov. I am. Something about it. You have to be all worried. Like, what's the feeling of it? Oh my goodness, so, oh look at the state of me. So I'm now in the Gilgood Theatre and um, this is going to be where I, this is where I'm going to actually, oh, I must move, there's a lady who's going into it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to end, end the vlog here. Gosh, look at me. Uh, one gin and tonic, I don't know what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please return to your seats? So I've got to go. The performance will continue in one minute. Will the evening's performance will continue in one minute. So, Thank you. I'm ending the vlog here. Give us a thumbs up. Don't worry because Matilda will not eat that plant. Um, I've put the plant a long way away from her because lots of people, when I put that on Instagram, were really worried that Matilda was going to eat the orchid. She won't eat the orchid. So thank you for watching. I look a bit worse for wear. It's been a busy week and this has been the perfect way to end it. Um, Les Miserables, uh, if you can get a seat, go. It is cathartic. I'm just literally crying all the way through just because I'm at the theatre but also it's absolutely brilliant. Have a great week. See you next Sunday. Bye.